fed up on fed up fed up fed up fed up fed up fed up on fed up fed up fed up fed up on fed up fed up on fed up with the cooks fed up with the fake love but the girl never bring go bring on fed up with the drama friends and family of a missing young mother hope to get information on her whereabouts authorities say no one has seen 26 year old Olivia Fowler since August 13th. Fox 5's Doug Evans spoke with her family today in Manchester. The town of Manchester is about two hours south of Atlanta. It was just outside of here a few miles away that a DNR ranger provided the last sighting of Olivia Fowler and that was more than a month ago. It was 10.30 in the morning on August 13th that a DNR ranger saw 26-year-old Olivia Fowler walking along Pebblebrook Road in Meriwether County. That's the last known sighting of her, according to law enforcement and her family. She doesn't have a purse. She doesn't have a phone. She doesn't have her license. She doesn't have a social security card. She doesn't have a bag, as far as we know, an overnight bag. Now Tamara McCoy, her aunt, walks the same road searching for any sign of her niece. The Meriwether County Sheriff's Office says Olivia Fowler was last seen wearing a tie-dye shirt, white cut-off shorts, and black flip-flops. The Sheriff's Office here is asking for the public's help in locating Olivia, saying they have talked to witnesses, conducted ground and air searches, and have followed up on leads, but she is still missing. Olivia wouldn't go 40 days without reaching out to her family at all. Olivia Fowler is 26 years old and the mother of three small children. Her family says her youngest child had his first birthday during her disappearance. A candlelight vigil is planned here in Manchester on September 26th at 7 p.m. Olivia Fowler's aunt tells me after so many searches and still no sign of her niece, she feels like the only thing they have left is prayer. If you know anything about the disappearance of Olivia Fowler, you can call the Meriwether County Sheriff's Office. In Manchester, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News. Welcome back, Trace and Patterson. And as you can probably tell from the beginning of the video, this reading is going to be done on a lady named Olivia Fowler. And this case, I don't know. I saw it being featured and covered on a, um, a YouTube channel. And this case just grabbed out a hold of me. So I figured that Miss Olivia needed someone to be a voice for her. And here we are. Now I'm concentrating on Olivia Fowler and getting answers, clarification, or to reveal what happened the night she went missing. I do have 10 questions for this one, which I'll call off as I draw. Olivia Fowler. Now, I will say that when I was watching the video on this, let me get this piece of paper. Okay. Uh, of course, I took notes, like I always do. Um, when I was watching this video, I was reading the comments on it, and there were quite a few comments that suggested that this case was a cover-up, that law enforcement was involved in this, and that uh, she was shot and cleaned up by people in hazmat suits, and that the sheriff knew where her body was, or where she was supposed where supposedly. Olivia had been disposed of. Now, that happens in small towns because of corruption like that, so it wouldn't surprise me. But that was another reason why I wanted to look into it. Anything that's been covered up like that because somebody needs to be a voice for those people. And I'm sorry, but small town crooked law does not intimidate me in the least. Here we go. Olivia Fowler. Now, the first card I'm going to draw is going to reveal to us Olivia's state of mind the day that she went missing. It said that she was out walking at 2 a.m. and she was spotted at 8.30 and at 10, I believe, or 8.30 and, 8 and 10. 
And then it started going to reveal what her intentions were as far as where she was going, what her plans were, who she was meeting, just generally what she was doing. The next is going to be the circumstances surrounding her disappearance. The reason for the circumstances. What influence or force is behind Olivia's disappearance? Cover up, etc., etc. How the events unfolded. Perpetrator or perpetrators. The motive. Something to link the perpetrators to Olivia. And the card has final. That's good. I just completely lost the card. Okay. And the card has final say. Let's take a look at these cards and see what we've got. First card is going to be the Five of Swords. And this is relating to Olivia's state of mind, what she was thinking, what she was feeling. And the Five of Swords represents defeat. It's walking away from a situation. Uh, that's a card of serious conflict. Um, this conflict is uh, signified by hostility, um, aggression, being intimidated. Lots of violence, of course. This also represents um, crimes, bullying, abuse, crimes of that um, assault. It goes to assault, rape, and murder. Ooh, so her state of mind on the night that she disappeared. This is quite possibly um, what happened to her. Sort of defeat and walking away. The card is six. She's had a conflict with somebody, and that's popped off with some hostility, some aggression, uh, them trying to intimidate her, violence, bullying, assault, rape, and murder. So this is a man. Her trying to be a man. The second card is going to be her intentions, and that's going to be the fool. And this will have been her intentions when she left the house. And the fool is a card of new beginnings. So, ooh, I wonder if, all right, it was said that she was living with a boyfriend, right? I bet you they broke up. Something's happened, and they broke up. And she's just going back to the feet and walking away. She's just throwing her hands at me like this ain't worth it. I'll walk away and start new. Okay, the next card is going to show us the circumstances behind her going missing or disappearing. That's going to be the Six of Cups reversed. That's a card that shows you letting go of the past and being ready to move on. It's becoming more mature and leaving home. There we go. Yep. Her and her boyfriend broke up and she's left because that was his house, supposedly. Now, this next one is going to show us the reason for the circumstances, and that's going to be the Five of Cups. This is a card of sadness and loss. It's heartbreak, grief, um, mourning, and it's stemming from a divorce or a separation. There we go. That's right there. It's been a breakup. And then she's left. That's the reason why she was out at 2 o'clock in the morning. And that's also, I, I'm sure, why it was said that the boyfriend said that he went to bed and she was there when he went to bed and when he woke up she was gone. I guarantee you that part is true. All right, the next one is going to show us ooh, uh, the influences or forces behind her disappearance. That's a Nine of Cups reversed. Nine of Cups reversed is um, an indicator, indicator of uh, problems, problems uh, stemming from either a dis eating disorder or a type of addiction. And uh, drugs was mis was mentioned a lot in those comments, so. Her problem with addiction is, is a, a really big influence on her disappearance. 
Now the next card is going to show us how the events unfolded, and that's going to be the Ten of Cups reversed. The Ten of Cups reversed um, shows um, love, harmony, contentment, um, the giddiness, the honeymoon stage of a relationship, turning into or being replaced with uh, discontentment and uh, arguments and conflict. It refers to an unhappy home life. Yeah, this is, yeah. It also shows secrets and problems in the family. Now, this is problems that's been stemming from uh, neglect and or abuse. So I'd say the boyfriend was abusive. Yeah, I'd say, but I'd say he was, he's, it's looking like he was abusive to me. That's what I feel like. So just look at these cards. It's, he was abusive. And that's why she waited till he went to bed before she left. I guarantee it. Now, the next one is going to show us the perpetrator, and that's going to be the emperor reverse. Woo! Now, this goes along with the, the allegation that uh, law enforcement was involved in this. And also, let us not forget that one of the next to last sightings of her was from a Georgia DNR officer. So, the emperor reverse is an older man. It's in a position of authority, a person of authority, like a cop. He abuses these powers, and he makes others feel powerless. So, ooh, so the cop is the perpetrator. He took advantage of her out walking is what he did. Or seen, seen her out walking, and she took advantage of that. Now, the motive is going to be the four of pentacles reversed. That's an indicator of being ready to let go of people. Certain people in your life that you feel like are toxic. It's being out of control and engaging in reckless behavior. Now, I wonder, does she have a relationship with a police officer? Like a low-key, low-down, like, I'm saying, like, this police officer's married. I know she was um, the fling on the side, and it's all went awry when he's been like, I, I don't want to see you anymore or something. That's, I don't know. That's, that's where my mind's going with this. Let's go on here. Let's see, because I want to see what this card is going to reveal something hidden or some unknown or not that's been something that's uh is being kept from public knowledge or from knowledge being getting out as it, as it relates to to uh, olivia's disappearance and that's going to be the four swords reversed that represents a awakening finding your mental strength it's coming out of a solitude slowly showing you recovering and healing So I, I I believe that she was she was trying to get off drugs. She truly was ready to get off drugs this time. That's the way that looks like to me. I feel like she was still doing drugs, but she was ready to stop. That's because it, it goes back to her addiction being the influence behind it, the disappearance. Now that card is going to be our final card, and that's a Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a representation of. Good news and invitations that carry excitement with them. So that's how they've got, or how this police officer has got her uh, into the vehicle, they think. It's some type of invitation that's, that's made her happy and excited. Well, this is something that needs to be really researched. I, I, I want to do another reading on this. <clears throat> I'm going to wait a couple of days. And do another reading on this because this girl was there. Who, the commenters that were saying that this was a cover up, that the sheriff knew where this girl's body was or what happened to her, that person that wrote that is right. So here's Emperor Reverse. A lot to think about here. I hope you enjoyed this read. I, I do because these reads right here. It's, I, couldn't, I can't say there's so much enjoyed as I feel like that um, it's a purpose for me. You know, to be given the gift to, uh, to read cards and be able to lay them and actually connect and, and feel the person that I'm reading the cards for or reading the cards on is, is a gift. And to pay that forward, I feel like that I, I have to be this voice. For these that have been done wrong. And this is definitely, definitely going to be a deep and a bad one. So I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend it with me in this read. And 
I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. To the bar. To the bar. Fed up, fed up, fed up, fed up, fed up, fed up.